Now that we know how well we're doing with our project, we can look down the road a little bit and forecast where this project might end up, especially in terms of cost. Let's look at the example we've been using so far, where we have a planned value at this particular point in time, at the end of week three, of $2,574. We have an actual cost of $3,000 and an earned value of $2,067. Our total plan value, or BAC, for the project is $4,134. If we want to project this out and figure out what might be our final costs of our project, what we're really going to do is we're going to take our current CPI and we're going to make a calculation to determine if our current CPI holds, what is it going to cost to do the work that we have have left to do, or what we might call remaining work, and then we'll be able to make some additional calculations from there. So the estimated cost to complete the remaining work, or ETC, is the BAC minus EV over EV divided by AC. That EV divided by AC is essentially our CPI, so that what we're basically doing is saying let's apply our current CPI to the remaining work and then we can come up with some value for what it's going to take to actually get that remaining work done. In this case we're going to calculate it out and we're going to have an ETC of two thousand nine hundred and ninety six dollars. Now we can take that value and we can add it to our current actual costs and we can get our estimate at completion or EAC. So this is what the project will cost when it gets done. So in this case we take our three thousand dollars of AC, we add it to our ETC that we just calculated and we get a estimated at completion of five thousand nine hundred and ninety six dollars. So if we look at this what we're really saying is if CPI doesn't change the actual cost at the end of the project will be $5,996. Remember that our EV, BAC, and plan value are all going to be equal at the end of the project. So what we can do now is calculate what that variance is. How much are we predicted to be off from our estimates? So our variance at completion, our BAC, is simply the BAC minus the EAC. Okay, so we're going to take the difference between those two values. In this case, what we're saying is that it looks like we're going to be over budget by $1,862. So that may not be a very good thing, um, but at least we know what things are looking like in the future. And we can talk with our stakeholders about it, see if we can devise a plan to get things back on track. Now one of the things that we can do is try to figure out what does our performance have to be in order to get things back on track. And that's where one more performance index comes into play. That's the two complete performance index. And that basically says if we actually are going to try to meet our original budget, what does our cost performance index have to be going forward in order to get back within budget. In this case, when we do the calculations, we find that our two complete performance index is 1.88. So we have to have a fairly significant performance as far as costs go in order to get things back on track. So we need to ask ourselves the question, is it likely that we're going to be able to see that dramatic of a performance increase? Or whether we are going to end up with cost overruns at the end of our project.